What we do as scientists, of course, excites us and we think it is very important, but I do think that it is important and necessary to engage the public as well and also get um, at, a, at a young age involved uh, uh, the future generation of scientists and get them excited about what we do. The original cell scope that was developed from that was a very simple device that could use um, uh, the cell phone as a camera and take pictures of microscopic samples. We print the, the parts, the plastic parts are printed on our 3D printer here in the lab. The idea from there then was to do disease diagnostics in developing countries and it got developed further and the team grew. And then just by a chance encounter with Saba Khan, a middle school teacher who approached us, we had the idea of uh, trying it out with kids for education. I read the journal article which was uh, publicly available which was very helpful. I, I saw what they had originally intended for it, disease detection, and to identify diseases such as malaria and tuberculosis, uh, TB, it's, um, it's imperative to get a good look at the blood and look at the blood cells. And I was able to get Eva and Oliver to come to my, my science classroom and show off the device. It became very clear that there was a really um, great opportunity to uh, use it to engage students in uh, scientific discovery. This is our current version of a cell scope that we use for education. Um, and what you see here is a 3D printed part. Um, so all the, bla the black plastic stuff you see here is printed on a 3D printer in our lab. And you have a sample that is here on this glass slide. And the light comes in just from the room lights in this case. It goes through the sample into the magnifying lens here and the light goes then, it hits a mirror here and it hits another mirror on this side and is directed up through what's called an eyepiece and goes directly into the camera of the iPhone in this case. A lot of students uh, look at their pets, a lot of students uh, looked at sort of the detritus, the garbage on the street um, that was in their neighborhood. So uh, we ended up with a, a large diversity of, of images that are way beyond what you would normally see in a science classroom under the microscope. And I, I think and I hope that afterwards they, they sort of had this sort of eye about what they're looking at so they can think about what do you think this looks like microscopically because they had a chance to look at things that weren't just, you know, prepared slides made in the classroom. I think it is great, especially for projects like Cellscope, that it got published and therefore is accessible to much broader audience. Um, and in fact, with uh, Saber, it really showed that it can then lead to projects that wouldn't normally uh, come out if, if people like Saber ha don't have access to reading those articles.